Hello everyone, this is Lisa Axel 18 again. Uh, so, I have had a request for my gaming videos to be back because apparently uh, they're just not interested in my beauty videos, which is fine, which is fine. I mean, you know, it is what it is, and. But, um, I just wanted to make a quick little video. I got the city at the beginning of the year, and I've been playing it a lot recently. And so, I just have been just busy with everything, You're busy with life a little bit. So... You know. Anyways, just, you know, I wanted to come on here, you know, and um, make a gaming video about the Cydia Final Fantasy. Sorry, I'm a little bit sidetracked. It was. There's some people message me. You know. What little social life I do have, I try to maintain. <laughs> Not that it really matters, but I just, you know, apparently I have gotten a request for this game, for a gaming video at least. Um, let me know in the comments below, do you want a, me to have a separate, you know, beauty channel or, you know, a separate, you know, separate my beauty and my gaming channel? You know, or should I just do it all in one, you know, place? Let me know. You know, just let me know in the comments below. How do you feel about that? I think it was, it's just cool to have a mixture of both on my channel. Just to throw a little curveball, you're never gonna know. I, um... I won't let anything stand in my way. I don't think it's really a bad thing, but I would like to, I would like to do more gaming videos, but Xbox, nice. for some reason the YouTube app on Xbox won't allow me to upload videos anymore, and, um, I don't know why, it, it just, just, just so weird, I don't know why I can't upload videos anymore, or why Xbox. You know, I just don't know. Xbox kind of pissed me off a little bit because I found the Final Fantasy Easter Egg in Assassin's Creed Origins, which made me so excited because it was rumored. I I heard a rumor that it was in there, but I didn't think like it was true. And I just was I forget what I was doing. I think I was just like wandering around, just being an idiot. And I found it, and I was so excited, because I'm like, it's true, it's true. There is a Final Fantasy Easter egg in Assassin's Creed Origins. And then, I wanted to upload it to YouTube so badly, and then YouTube was like, no! Fuck off, like, you ain't gonna get it to deny it because our last update, and it's like, you know what? What have I done? Like, what have I done specifically to... Xbox or to YouTube, in fact, where they're like, "Oh, we're gonna update to deny everyone." It's like, what have people done? Like, you know, it's just one of those things. You know. I. I don't know. It's just one of those things where, nah, it happens, it happens. Yeah. But, anyways, you know, so, um, 
Anyways, let's go back to Dissidia. Let's do a review of Dissidia Final Fantasy. I do apologize for the screen. Um, you know, that I paused for so long. I'm pretty sure... You know, um, I think I went to take off to the bathroom when I recorded this. I recorded this last week. I've been so busy. I don't even remember when I recorded my videos because I record them. And then I do, I wanted to do our voiceovers. And then I completely forget because life just takes over me and I'm just kind of like, bleh. But I did, like, the city, like, I what I like about the city, or at least they have all the characters to 15. Uh, Final Fantasy 15. I don't think that was the latest one they released. I think it was 14. I think they went 15 and then 14, or maybe 14 and 15. I don't exactly remember how it goes. But they have all the characters from 1, and I think even from Final Fantasy 0 to the 15. And I really love it because they have Lightning from Final Fantasy 13, who is my absolute favorite character. You know, I really, I have her cosplay costumes. I just love her. I think she's amazing. I think she's badass. Um, she's just one of those characters that I just, like, I just can't help but love because she's just so amazing and everything. But, um, the one thing I have to say is different is, like, you basically have to smash arcade mode in order to get the memory chips in order to continue on in the story. Which I find that very weird, but, you know, it is what it is. It's actually kind of interesting because that means that you are like, play arcade, like, play the arcade mode. You know, like, you can't abandon it. And it's like, sure we can, like, watch us. Especially, like, if you play Mortal Kombat, yeah, you don't really play arcade all that much. So it's kind of like, yeah, we can abandon you. But I kind of like over there, like, you have, you're, like, you're forced to play it, because if not... Yeah. But it is what it is, and it's just a nice time being quiet. Just, um, Xbox is, um, I don't know, my phone is just taking over my life. But yeah, fun time. Select a summon, Koopa. Trixie Mattel. Yeah, speaking of which, okay, speaking of Trixie Mattel, the RuPaul's Drag Race, like the new episode that came on. Oh man, she um. <laughs> I'm sort of disappointed in Trixie because I thought Trixie would be better, but apparently, I think she has some self-esteem issues. And I think she's just nervous. And so I really hope that Trixie can kind of start stepping it up next week. Or this coming episode. Because I really want her to win RuPaul's Drag Race Season 3. And if she doesn't win, I kind of want either Bender La Creme or... Um, I think I would want Benda La Creme to win. Because she seems to be doing good so far. And I think it's because of... Season 6, she wasn't really sure, so then, here we are in season, I, you know, the all Star 3, she's had time to progress her drag, and I'm very, very happy about that, and, I just can't wait, oh, I just can't wait, um, I'm very excited, okay, Far Cry 5 is coming out next month, hopefully, I'm able to do another video of that. I'm very excited that Far Cry 5 is taking place in 
Montana, here in the United States, and it's all about, um, essentially with Far Cry 5, it's just like, oh, it's about white Christian extremism, which is something I think people in the United States can relate to, because we have it here, and of course Far Cry 5 is receiving backlash, because, well, you know, oh, well, you know, white Christian extremism, okay, yeah, guys, if you can talk about terrorism, like, I'm talking about, like, Muslim terrorism all day long, but the minute the tables get turned about Christian, you know, Christian extremism, and then you're like, oh, no, that's not okay, then I think, like, you can just, you need to wake up to reality, because the reality of the situation is that, I apologize for getting into politics a little bit here, but it's like, there's always going to be terror. I think, you know, when they talk about religion, every religion is right and all of them are wrong at the same time. And I say that because, you know, they say that they're right. Okay, that's fine. But then, you tell everyone else that if you don't follow the same faith as you, then, like, you're going to go to hell, it's all wrong, and all this other shit. I, I mean, I do I believe that there's a higher power there? I do believe that. I'm not saying I'm a Christian because I have a pentagram tattooed on my chest. Thanks. But, at the same token, like, it, it's just, I think it's just one of the things where, um, it's just one of the things that, it kind of gets me a little bit in this country, like, I get that we have freedom of religion and everything, but I feel like, and this is like true to my religious friends, like my Mennonite friends and everything, that they'll sit there and try to convert me, and it's like, I'm not interested, I'm not interested in being a 1950s housewife, where I can't be on birth control, basically, I'm barefoot and pregnant, and the man gets to do everything, see, that's not how I was raised, I was raised, you know, to get a job, get an education, and all this other jazz. And I think, like, you know, and I get that that's the way they're raised, but I'll give the Mennonites this, okay? They have huge families without being on welfare. I'll give them that much. But I think what just gets me in life is, you know, when you have other religious fanatics basically saying, you know, they're right, you know, everyone else is wrong, and you can't even have a healthy debate with them. It's like, to me, I'll, I debate sometimes with some of my friends about religion. And the thing is, is that, like, they'll respect my opinion about it. They'll respect what I have to say. Because they're like, oh, well, you know, you're kind of right in a way. Or you're wrong. Or whatever. But the thing is, is that they respect me and they respect my point of views. And I respect their point of views. And I don't try to, like, change their mind in any way. I just ask them in the end can they just respect my point of view which I know sometimes that's hard to like I guess to kind of just set it aside and be a human about it and be like okay yeah you're right you know it's cool but at the same token like it's you know we're humans we have different opinions some of them may agree that they're not right some of them may say oh well you're wrong and everything no, it, that's just the way it is, and this is, it's just humans. Like, I think we can have healthy debates without just being asses to each other and just being dicks. You know, that's just what I believe. You know, and, you know, and, and it, it just happens, you know, and like, you know, it, it's just... Uh, it's just what I believe, you know, and, you know, some people may not agree with that, but they also believe, I mean, they respect my beliefs of what I believe in, which I respect them for that, because that's a very mature and a very adult thing to do. You know, not many people do that. Trust me, I have a friend of mine who he, <laughs> if I bring up a subject and you're like, if I don't agree with him, he just, he can be an ass to me sometimes, and Sometimes it pisses me off other days, I'm just kind of like, man, it's not worth it. You know, it is what it is, and, you know, I believe at the end of the day, we all can be mature adults. But anyways, it is the end of the video. Please like, share, subscribe, leave comments down below if you think I should improve my videos or I should continue doing gaming. 
or my beauty, but anyways, uh, see you guys in the next video!